Hi, Internet. Nice to meet you. My name is Den, and I'm a shy pooper. But before we get into embarrassing myself in front of thousands of people, today's sponsor is Dragon Mania Legends, a game where you can create a team of legendary dragons in a world full of magic. You can also breed and train them to master their powers in battles through different islands and worlds. This is my code so you guys could add me because I usually send out gifts to everyone on my friends list because I'm amazing, I know. This is actually one of my favorite games to play whenever I'm trying to take little breaks from work. It's just so satisfying to collect cute pet dragons after 300 failed attempts of drawing a hand. If you download the game now, new users will be able to claim a welcome package by using the links in the descriptions down below. Again, you can download the game by clicking the link in the descriptions down below or by scanning my QR code here. Thank you again to Dragon Mania Legends for sponsoring this video. This one time, I got stuck in the bathroom for three hours straight with no way out. Once upon a time in college, right before art history class, I made a fatal mistake. Art history is by far one of the hardest, most difficult classes to ever stay awake in in college. It didn't help that my professor was a psychopath and I remember him just gloating that he specifically asked for this one room because it had no windows. He always talked about his old vintage projector that he loved so much that he made sure that we saw it in its full glory. Darkness. I was sitting next to this ancient projector and I just remember it blowing hot, musty, gross air into my face for three hours straight. To top it off, my professor had the deepest, most monotone voice that I've ever heard. It was honestly the perfect recipe to cure my insomnia. Except... I didn't really know the cure for my insomnia was worth $700 and 3 credits. My professor also loved throwing pop quizzes, and pop quizzes were worth at least 30% of your grade. Sleeping wasn't really an option, because if you didn't already know, I have strict Asian parents, and in all honesty, we were way too broke for me to fail. In my many battles of attempting not to fall into a deep 10-year coma in this class, I attempted many, many things. Drugs not included. Unless coffee counts as a drug. Caffeine is a highly addicting substance and I can guarantee you that this might be the beginning of my caffeine addiction. I would struggle so hard to stay up in this class that I would nap in the library right before class. I'd even hold my eyes wide open, but my eyeballs would just start rolling into the back of my skull as if my eyeballs just decided to clock out of work. I'd even pinch myself every couple of minutes by the off chance that I'm dreaming and my professor is just my sleep paralysis demon. And if that didn't work, I'd also have three shots of espresso injected straight through my veins right before class. It was tough. My college was right next to one of my favorite places in the whole wide world, Panera Bread. They have this thing called a broccoli cheddar soup, which is um a bowl of cheese with a dash of broccoli right before class i make the best decision of my life so i get myself a large bowl of broccoli cheddar soup and i also get myself a large venti mocha frappe with three extra shots of espresso because i've been studying so hard for my art history midterm that i'm about to take life is hard and i'd much rather reward myself for trying than beat myself up for failing but I didn't know there was a thing called being lactose intolerant. And it was just a day that I had to find out. And that only means that you won't catch me doing a whole number two in public. Do I look like I would risk locking eyes with you when I get out of that stall? I'm not even gonna risk the fact that we might have the same class together. You've smelt too much. You know too much. But thankfully, there are certain bathrooms that not a lot of people know about in our school. Which is perfect for me because I needed my privacy at all costs. I was about to destroy this bathroom and honestly, I don't think anyone in the vicinity would survive. So I rush into the bathroom and I quickly check if there's anyone around. The coast was clear and I do my very important and highly private business. The mission was a success. There was no casualties and my ego was intact. That is, of course, until... Huh. Huh. 
I'm gonna be stuck here forever, huh? The door was stuck. I was stuck. In the bathroom that no one ever goes to. I'm out here pulling the door with all my strength and nothing. The door wouldn't budge. Did I try to parkour out of there? Master, I have the mind of a mastermind. What's that? Did I try to crawl out of there? Yeah, no, not a chance. Why don't you just text your friends? This area of the building is one of those areas that just has no signals. And, uh... Let's be real, I have no friends. Have you ever just waited in a bathroom stall for almost three hours, just waiting, hoping someone will show up to rescue you? It was also kind of getting late too, because at this point it was already 8 p.m. and I was about ready to possibly sleep there. So, how'd you get out? Hey, uh, hi, um, I, uh, need some help? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, do you need some toilet paper or something? Um, no, uh, you need a pad? No, 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 I, I just can't seem to open the door. Oh, that's easy! Did you try unlocking it? What? what So after a little bit of a back and forth, the couple calls security, and then security calls the custodian, and it somehow became a group effort. How'd you even get into this mess? Well, honestly, I have this overwhelming feeling of needing to be perfect all the time, and I just hate the idea that people can see me when I'm the most vulnerable. Even though I know it's a natural thing, I just feel so weak and exposed. So I search for a place where I felt safe, where no one can find me, where there's no noise of judgment. And honestly, this is the only place I could poop in peace. I told my professor what happened and he let me retake my midterm. And I passed, so you know what that means. I'm making more mistakes with no regrets. Okay, maybe there's a little bit, but we're celebrating. Hope you guys liked that video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. You know, um, glitters and stuff. I need to take a nap. It's like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. Hope you guys have a good night, because I need to sleep. Night! Also, I forgot to mention, we have a Discord. I made a Discord. It looks all pretty now. Go check it out. Okay, bye.